What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're going to be checking out the Logitech G560 Light Sync Gaming Speakers. And spoiler alert right off the bat, these are by far the best gaming speakers I have ever used for more than one reason. I'm telling you guys, these are the real deal. I've been using these around the office for the past week and it's literally changed how I view and I guess now listen to gaming. So if you're interested in a new pair of desktop speakers, you just wanna take your setup to the next level, sit tight cause you're gonna wanna watch this. So first the G560 is a 2.1 speaker setup, meaning you get a dedicated subwoofer plus two left and right channel speakers. As for that subwoofer, make sure you take off the sticker on the front if you wanna keep that nice and clean looking setup. This thing is powerful. That's due to the six and a half inch bottom firing subwoofer, and it does stand at around 15 inches tall. But this is the power source and where all your connectivity is gonna take place. On the back is where you connect your left and right channel speakers with the DB9 cables, as well as an aux port and your micro USB to connect it to your PC. Then for the satellite speakers themselves, I think they're nice and simple looking. The design here is modern. They're definitely not gonna be an eyesore on your desk. I mean, uh, yes, it does have these crazy RGB lighting inside, but trust me, it's worth it. You'll see in a minute. Now on the back of the right speaker is your power button with a Bluetooth button right above that. And you also have a headphone jack as well. And then on top of the actual speakers, you have your volume controls with a plus and minus and a G button. And by default, the, uh, the G is meant for actually lowering the LED brightness. But you can go inside the software and change that to be whatever function you want. Other than that, the speaker itself fits in nicely on a desk setup with its woven mesh texture and very simple design. Now, as I showed you before, on the back of the speaker, we have this frosted shell where four RGB LED lights sit behind. This is so it can project smooth colors behind your monitor onto your wall. We also have two LED lights on the front side of the speaker to illuminate this like tunnel-like texture. Now, I'm not gonna bore you and waste your time showing you things that you've probably seen before, like, you know, the rainbow effect, the pulsing in and out, static colors, even things like the, uh, the music visualizer. I'm not gonna show you that stuff because you've seen it. We're gonna be spending time really focusing on the light sync, which is what really, really makes these speakers unique. And a second thing I wanted to tell you guys is, as much as I love my camera, its biggest drawback, I guess, is its low light performance. So um, I kinda had to put these speakers closer to the wall so you can really see the brightness and the color of the LED lights, or else in low light, the camera does suffer and the, the footage gets kind of grainy and noisy. So. Keep that in mind, you can take my word, the lights you're actually seeing in this footage, um, they're actually a lot brighter and more saturated in real life. But this is where it gets good. As you can see, the light sync screen sampling effect is taking snippets from the sides of my display and it's extending that color onto the wall. So here, dropping in PUBG, it's seeing the greens from the grass and as I fly by the blue, yellow, and red crates, it's briefly betraying that behind my monitor. And one cool thing is, since I'm using and I'm playing on my ultra wide, if you want to game at a regular 16 by 9 ratio or whatever, it's still going to sample from the actual gameplay and not just show nothing behind my monitors because of the black bars inside of my screen. So ultra wide users, rest easy, you'll be fine. And this goes for not only gaming, but viewing regular content or videos as well. And then just real quick to show off some more uh, quick examples, I loaded up footage from the Destiny 2 beta cinematic opening sequence and you get this really nice, you know, rich colors and that game just looks so good. It looks really cool here but the light sync screen sampling effect is where it's at, trust me. And also you can choose to turn this feature off, but on your keyboard, if it is synced up, it's also gonna split the colors and be portrayed on your keyboard as well. It kind of like breaks the keyboard up into two halves and shows you what's being portrayed uh, behind your monitors. Now inside the lighting tab in the software, you can go in and select where you want the colors to be pulled from on your screen. And when I did that, I found that works best for me was having the main lights in the back being sampled from the lower quadrants of my monitor, because odds are something is happening in the game on the sides of my vision, it would just look best if I pulled it from there to have that extended onto my wall. And then for those side lights being on the front of the speakers, I just pulled it from my tiny little sliver on the bottom sides of my screen. And again, I found that worked best for most of my games. And what this does while you're gaming is just so cool and unique that it really gets you more immersed in the games you're playing. You know, just here in something like Battlefield 1, you get the green and blue hues throughout that are reflected nicely. And each time I glance past that tank on fire, the lighting actually shows the fire on my wall. I'm telling you guys, the main thing here is immersion. It's really, really cool. And I know I play a lot of like heavily modded Skyrim still, and that game's very lush. So I'm running around, you know, like greens are everywhere. I cast like a fire scroll and then I have fire inside of my screen, maybe like a frost or a lightning scroll and the other side of my screen lights up. It's really cool. Now they also have, uh, it's, it's tied in with their lighting effects, but they're, they're game driven lighting. 
And it's a very small sample of games right now, unfortunately. I'll put the list up here so you can see which games are compatible with this. But the game-driven lighting, um, it means they've worked pretty much hand-in-hand -hand with, uh, with these game developers. And it's going to do things like in CSGO, um, the lights will portray your health status. Or like I said, in Battlefield 1, when you're getting shot, it'll light up red to let you know. And now into another very important aspect of gaming speakers, and that's how do they sound. I don't really do a lot of, you know, speaker reviews on this channel, but as I said in the beginning, these are by far the best I have heard at the price. And my first reaction when I got them in was wow. Not only are these speakers insanely loud, but the subwoofer packs a punch that would make even Conor McGregor proud. I'm telling you, this subwoofer gives some serious bass to your music and games. And I'm telling you, when I say these speakers are loud, I've never even had the volume turned above 40% because I have neighbors, you know, I'm not trying to cause problems. So this is easily gonna fill your bedroom and definitely your entire living room with no problems at all. With that being said, when I did push them up, happily there is no audio distortion to report when maxed out, but like I said, didn't wanna keep it there for too long because I didn't wanna damage my ears. But now with the bass being super effective, um, you don't really have the emphasis on a lot of the lower frequencies in the actual speakers, but that's okay, the subwoofer does its job well. And because of the bass, I would say the finer, uh, higher details in your audio might be lost in some situations. But there is a way to fix that. Inside the software, there are two separate tabs for your audio. One is going to be your presets and EQs. And as I say in every single audio related video, I always stick to the default standard setting, which here is called flat. However, there is one thing I would recommend you consider. Create your own EQ and still keep all the levels the same as default, but bump your treble to three. That I think really makes up for the overpowering bass, which you can turn down in here if you want. It's gonna help give you those higher end frequencies with some extra clarity. They also have their DTS-X surround sound, which is emulated. Um, it's pretty good with positional audio, uh, but honestly it does, I feel like, muddy out a lot of the finer details again in clarity. So I'm not gonna use that, just stick to the flat EQ setting like I recommended. But just all across the board here, the audio is very impressive. Um, since they are those dedicated desktop speakers, you're not gonna have a lot of the lower end. That's gonna be mainly for the subwoofer, but in terms of, you know, like treble and even like high ends, mid range frequencies, it is really damn good. And it also has a very expansive sound stage, which is also gonna be really great for things like open world games, where if you're running around in PUBG or something, or even like GTA 5, there's this big immersive world the sound effects all around you sounds so, so good. Now to wrap this up, I showed off and talked about a lot of its great features. There is also one more thing I do want to say. I'm not going to do a sound test for you guys. A lot of times when I do audio related things, people want to hear sound tests, but it really makes no sense because what you're hearing is not an accurate representation of how the speakers sound. You're hearing that you're hearing what my microphone is recording then it's being uh, fed into my camera then through YouTube and compression and being published and all that stuff and then coming out of whatever audio source you're using like your pair of headphones or speakers so how it would be coming out of the speakers to you is not how these speakers actually sound so I'm not gonna be doing a sound test just wanted to address that right away and to kind of end this with the uh, the first two cons I wanted to mention it's not even really a big thing it's more like one con uh, the first is the RGB lighting, since it is um, plugged into your PC, but the subwoofer is also powered uh, by you know, plugging into your wall. Uh, the lights still do remain on. You can, like I said, turn it off and stuff manually, but it is kind of an annoying thing. Although in the software, there is this sleep timer you can enable, but they should just shut off by default when your PC turns off. And the second thing I wanted to bring up, which again, isn't really um, a big con, is the fact that as you saw with this awesome immersive RGB lighting, it is kind of going to work best with a single monitor setup like I showed. For me, my setup behind me, since I have the two on the bottom, um, when I'm gaming, I only use the monitor off to the right. So it would look kind of weird if I just had them like positioned off to the side of my desk like that. So it was just, you know, portraying my one monitor. So it wouldn't really work best with my situation. I think it would work best, like I said, with uh, one single monitor. Or if you have three on the bottom, you game across all three, obviously one on each side. Uh, but I did want to bring that up, but again, it's not really a con. It's just me being jealous that I can't really take advantage of these with my setup. But as for the pros, you heard it all across here. The soundstage, amazing. Really nice, high-quality audio coming out of these things with some crazy powerful bass. The speakers themselves are made nicely, and obviously, the crazy, awesome, and immersive light sync features with the RGB lighting on these speakers really, really impressed me. 
Now these do retail for $200, but like I said, all across this review, I'm telling you that price point is well worth it. It's definitely justified. Considering the competition out there and some of the speakers that I've reviewed so far in the past, even this year, you're getting better sound quality and a better value overall with those crazy awesome immersive RGB lighting. So I definitely recommend it. If you're in the market to pick up a new pair of desktop speakers, check these out because you're not going to have to upgrade for a long, long time unless you ever get sick of the RGB lighting, but I don't know why you would. If I could give them some sort of like random Frank P award, I definitely would because this is probably one of my favorite tech products that I've reviewed in the past year or so. So I highly, highly recommend it. Great stuff from Logitech, the G560 Light Sync speakers. If you like the review, guys, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to hit me up and follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.